what is mean by footprint it is uh, it means the impression ecological footprint means how much an entity is utilizing the global resources these global resources are specified in terms of global hectares this area how much area we are using for example a human being you take human being needs food right so he will consume some of the crop area this much of crop area is needed to support a human being from the birth to death given his lifestyle lifestyle determines the ecological footprint that is an important point to note plus he needs some industrial uh, outputs right so he will consume some industrial area plus he consume water so he needs some water area and he emits carbon dioxide so we need forest to absorb that car carbon forest area he may need fish meat like that needs so he will consume fishing area grazing area so some of all this will constitute how many hectares global hectares this person is consuming in his lifetime this is an example of ecological footprint of human like that we can find the ecological footprint for a group of people say for nation we can find how much the nation is consuming or for an industrial process how much hectares a particular product is consuming in its process so this ecological footprint give an idea about how much we are utilizing our natural resources this includes the waste assimilation also right here we have consume uh, construct the forest area to consume the carbon dioxide emissions and associated with it is a term called biocapacity so this shows the utilization and this shows the capacity of the nature to provide this services how much the earth has capacity to give its resources plus assimilate the waste generated for example if a person needs one hectare of ecological footprint but the earth can provide only 0.75 hectares per person it means that the ecological footprint of a person has exceeded the capacity of the earth that can provide him it is only 0.75 hectare only the earth can provide within its capacity so it means that the human is consuming more resources than available so where from he consume this this uh, resources we saw that there is a capital right and we are deriving services from the capital so for sustainable process there should be revenue in terms of economy also if you are consuming the money we are allocating for the capital expenditure our revenue expenditure will not be sustainable in a wrong run like this case happens here also we are eating into the capital of the earth budget not its revenue this means that at one particular point of time the earth budget will exhaust what is this budget see if you calculate a budget say for one, one year this much uh, bio capacity the earth can provide and we are consuming it faster and that day is called earth overshoot day or ecologic deficit day ecological debt day So it means that from that day onwards we are living on debt. 
we are taking it from our future generations to live on this earth overshoot day is observed every year by by an ngo and uh, every year it comes around august it means that before reaching the last month before reaching december from january to august itself we are dip, we are running out of the budget that earth is providing us so this means that our process and uh, our way of living is unsustainable right for to have a sustainable way of living our ecological footprint should be le less than the bio capacity when ecological footprint is more than bio capacity we can tell that that process or that entity is going in an unsustainable way so another term also there it is called carrying capacity what is mean by carrying capacity it denotes the number of individuals that earth can support in a particular area it can be the number of humans in a particular area or number of any other species in a particular area and this also indicates the capacity of the earth to supply the resources and also to assimilate the waste so that uh, it is denoted in the number right maximum number so it will denote the pollution uh, population it can support for example if you take a graph this is time this is population so this is the carrying capacity and this carrying capacity can also change with the time it may degrade if you are degrading the environment and it can increase if you are having some scientific advancements to increase the capacity of the resource utilization so here a case like it is degrading degrading capacity and the population increases it is sustainable up to this if it is increasing the carrying capacity we will tell like it is overshoot population overshoot it means population overshoot the capacity what happens here the population declines after that the earth can't supply so the individuals in the group die off this is declining population naturalists say that if you are not taking care of the environment and you are overshooting capacity automatically our population will get a reduce because of the scarcity of the resources or pollution and this concept is called limits to growth we cannot grow like what we like there is a limit there is a natural limit and this was proposed by the club of rome their studies they have given the concept of limits to growth with respect to the carrying capacity of the environment these are the some of the major concepts associated with the ecosystem services and the capacity of the environment to give the services for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com